Witam dzisiaj związanie konkursu Team Draper, jeden z najlepszych, najbardziej legendarnych inwestorów w historii um, Silicon Valley odpowiada na jedno z pytań czytelników. To znaczy, kim jest Tim Draper? Tim Draper zainwestował w Tesle, zanim jeszcze Elon Musk przejął Tesle. Później zainwestował w inne przedsięwzięcia Elona Muska, Solar City, SpaceX. Elon, um, Tim Draper był pierwszym inwestorem w Skype, w Baidu, w Foursquare, w Indiegogo i dużo i ponad tysiąc innych firm. Zainwestował już ponad 10 miliardów w najróżniejsze startupy. Jest uważany za najlepiej znetworkowanego venture capitalist, czyli inwestora w Silicon Valley. To pozwólmy jemu odpowiedzieć na jedno z waszych pytań. You certainly encountered many like moments where everything seems to be against you in your in your business career. Uh, is there any thought you cherish in that moment? Maybe a motto or or maybe an experience you recall in uh, that situation mm -hmm. which uh, makes you you know stronger? Well, here's. You know, when you had a bad day at school mm -hmm. and people were mean to you or whatever, you would go home, you'd go to bed, you wake up the next day, you come back. It's this, it, it, they're all the same people and everybody's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just picking on you for the one thing and now they've given up. I think that's kind of the same way it is if if you're trying to so be a great chance, right? yeah if you're trying to do something extraordinary Elon Musk says we're going to Mars I'm sure he would get ridiculed by high school students who say I'm never going you're never going to get to Mars what are you crazy and but there would be a few people those that 5% who say hey how would we get to Mars but but he has to put up with that ridicule for a long time But each day he goes back and he comes back and, you know, life still goes on. He still has a place to sleep and a place to eat and everything's fine. So, <clears throat> so I so think it's it a like way of looking at the world and saying, hey, um, you, you have a choice. You have a choice. You can be an optimist or you can be a pessimist. If you're an op optimist are the ones who accomplish everything. The pessimists don't accomplish anything. Pessimists just give you the, all the reasons why it's not going to work. The optimists show pessimists that, hey, every once in a while, guys, you're wrong. This might work. And, uh, and so, be a, I think, be an optimist. And an optimist actually has, a, that's why, you know, Jurvetson thinks I'm always happy, uh, is because, hey, I'm generally optimistic. If things, The other thing is when you're young, play a lot of these games where you where you can lose or get into horrible situations because then you have simulated all of the emotions you're going to go through when you go through life. And uh, and if you you've gone through that, then maybe um, you can you can take on more challenges when you're uh, out there uh, kind of having the big struggle that's life. Oczywiście, że nagrałem kilka odpowiedzi Tima na bardzo ciekawe pytania. Jeśli nie chcesz tego przegapić, to tutaj zasubskrybuj, a tutaj obejrzysz inny ciekawy filmik, który ostatnio nagrywałem. To tyle. Dzięki Silicon Valley. Do zobaczenia.